Stoichiometry is the field of chemistry that is concerned with the relationship between reactants and products in a chemical reaction. The concept is similar with our way of following a recipe. So example, a small recipe. You need two graham crackers plus one chocolate piece plus one marshmallow form one is more. So the underlined numbers are what we call like similar with chemical equation coefficient. So it shows the relationships of graham crackers with chocolate, with marshmallow, and is more. Two graham crackers is to one chocolate. Two graham crackers is to one marshmallow. Two graham crackers is to one is more. So where do we get those numbers? The coefficient. We call it coefficient, the number written in front of the ingredients and the product. So the possible ratios are 2 graham crackers is to 1 chocolate. 1 chocolate over 2 graham crackers, 2 graham crackers over 1 marshmallow, or 1 marshmallow over 2 graham crackers, 2 gram crackers is to 1 is more, or 1 is more over 2 gram crackers. So, where do we get these ratios or conversion factors? From the general recipe. So, if we have this problem, how many s'mores will be produced from 4 gram crackers? So this is the equation. So we have number of s'mores equals given times the ratio. Ratio between s'mores, which is the unknown, and the given graham crackers. So there are two ratios, two graham crackers, or one is more over two graham crackers. And you know that the unknown is always written on the numerator. So, let's have the equation. Number of s'mores equals the given for graham crackers times the conversion factor. The unknown on the numerator and the given on the denominator. So, cancel graham crackers, graham crackers, we have s'mores. So 4 times 1 divided by 2, you'll have 2 s'mores. How many graham crackers are needed to form 4 s'mores? So unknown again is graham crackers, the given 4 s'mores times the conversion factor, unknown, given, Cancel is more. So 4 times 2 divided by 1 will give you 8 graham crackers. It makes sense, right? Because if 2 graham crackers will produce 1 is more, therefore, 8 graham crackers will produce 4 is more. So similarly, in chemistry, we will use small ratio to calculate the unknown. So, a mole ratio is a conversion factor taken from the coefficients of a balanced chemical equation, specified as moles. So, mole ratios are, are used as conversion factors to convert between a given number of moles of reactant or product to moles of different reactant or product. And the general equation for a mole-to-mole -mole problem is unknown equals the given times the conversion factor. This is the unknown on the numerator given on the denominator and A and B 
are coefficients. So you cancel the unit of the given on the denominator of the conversion factor. So you have C times A divided by B mole of the unknown. So let's have this problem. Two hydrogen plus one oxygen to form two H2O. So the mole ratios are mole of hydrogen over mole of oxygen. Again, the numbers are coefficient. Mole O2, mole hydrogen, 1 and 2 coefficients. Mole H2 over mole H2O, 2 and 2 coefficients. H2O over mole H2, 2 and 2 coefficient. Okay, and so on and so forth. So, how many moles of oxygen are needed to form 4 moles of water? So, the unknown is moles, oh no, the given is moles of H2O. And this is the conversion factor, unknown, given, 1, coefficient of oxygen, and 2, coefficient of H2O. So, 4 times 1 divided by 2 will give you 2 moles of O2. Remember, you have to cancel the unit of the given with the unit of the given on the denominator. How many moles of hydrogen are needed to form 4 moles of H2O? Again, the given times the conversion factor, the unknown, and the given. 2 moles, the coefficient of hydrogen, and 2 moles, the coefficient again of H2O. So the equation is 4 times 2 divided by 2 equals 4 moles of hydrogen. Remember, you have to cancel moles of H2O. So another equation is 1 mole of nitrogen plus 3 moles of hydrogen form 2 moles of NH3. So these are the possible mole ratios. Again, the numbers are coefficient in the balance equation. And when do you use this? If the unknown is nitrogen and the given is hydrogen, unknown is NH3, the given is N2, unknown is hydrogen, the given is NH3. So let's have this problem. How many moles of nitrogen are needed to react with 6 moles of hydrogen? So again, given times the conversion factor, unknown, given. Cancel unit of the given with the unit of the given on the denominator. So you have the equation 6 times 1 divided by 3 will give you 2 moles of nitrogen. How many moles of NH3 will form from two, 4 moles of N2? So again, the given times the conversion factor, unknown, given, 2 is the coefficient, 1 is the coefficient, cancel mole nitrogen, mole nitrogen, then the equation is 4 times 2 divided by 1 is equal to 8 moles of NH3. Another equation, 2 moles of aluminum plus 3 moles of chlorine, 2 moles of aluminum chloride. So these are the possible mole ratios. And if we have a problem, how many moles of Al are needed to react with 6 moles of Cl2? Again, the given times the conversion factor, unknown, 
given cancel the mole CL2 mole CL2 the equation now is 6 times 2 divided by 3 equals 4 moles AL how many C moles of CL2 are needed to form 4 moles AlCl3? Again, given times the conversion factor, unknown, given, cancel, uh, moles AlCl3, cancel. Then you have 4 times 3 divided by 2 will give you 6 moles of chlorine. Again, 3 and 2 are the coefficient. In the balance equation, 3 moles of chlorine, 2 moles of Al. So, we have another equation. 4 moles of P plus 5 moles of O2 form 1 mole of P4O10. Remember, if there is no number, it means 1. So, how many moles of O2 are needed to form 2 moles P4O10? Again, the given times the conversion factor, unknown given, cancel mole P for O10, mole P for O10. Then the equation is 2 times 5 over, divided by 1 gives you 10 moles of O2. How many moles of P are needed to react with 10 moles O2? The given 10 moles O2 times the conversion factor, unknown, given, 4 and 5 are the coefficient. And so cancel mole O2, mole O2. The equation is 10 times 4 divided by 5, 8 moles of P.